I'm gonna give a quick overview of Blue Origin's BE4 engine, the latest news behind their recent hot fire test, and why the completion of the engine will be a huge turning point for the company. On October 19th, Blue Origin announced that it conducted the first successful test of the BE4 engine. The BE4 will be one of the most powerful rocket engines in the world. What is the BE4's significance in Blue Origin's goal to be a major player in the future space economy? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I'll be covering major news behind SpaceX Mars colonization plans, the BFR, and whatever else I find interesting. It seems that in the past year especially, Blue Origin is emerging as a serious player in aerospace manufacturing, and I'll definitely be covering all of Blue Origin's progress on my channel. So if you're interested in SpaceX and Blue Origin, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. Before we get started, on my last video about Blue Origin, I mistakenly said that Blue Origin beat SpaceX in vertical landing a rocket with the new Shepard rocket back in 2015. I got that information from an article from The Verge who made it seem like Blue Origin actually landed a rocket first before SpaceX, but that's simply not the case. SpaceX has been perfecting the technology dating back to 2012 with the Grasshopper and the Falcon 9 reusable development vehicles. So thank you Ronak Mahato for bringing that to my attention. Okay, so the development for the BE-4 started back in 2011 and uses liquid oxygen and liquid methane propellants. It is Blue Blue Origin's fourth generation engine made to take them in orbital space and beyond. Like I said before, Blue Origin recently completed a hot fire test of the engine on October 19th. It was fired at 50% power for 3 seconds. And this is a huge, huge milestone for Blue Origin because the B-4 is a major component of the New Glenn rocket which they hope to have its first launch in 2020. So until the, the New Glenn is complete, they can't even get into orbital space. They can't get into low Earth orbit. So once this is complete, they can go to low Earth orbit and beyond. So this will take the company to the next level. Alright, so the B-4 will also serve as one of their first major revenue sources because they will also be manufacturing the engine for the United Launch Alliance, ULA for short. So the engine will be a part of ULA's new vehicle Vulcan, which is expected to have its first launch in 2019. So it looks like Blue Origin is well on their way to completing the engine in time for that. The ULA is a commercial aerospace powerhouse. It's a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, founded in 2006. The ULA had a monopoly on all military launches for more than a decade until the US Air Force awarded a GPS satellite contract to SpaceX in 2016. So Blue Origin in a way is a part of ULA's fight to stay competitive with SpaceX and lower their launch costs. And I think that's a good thing. So securing an agreement to supply the ULA with the BE-4 is quite an achievement considering that they went in direct competition with Aerojet Rocketdyne whose experience goes back to the 1950s and is the company behind the F-1 engine which powered the Saturn V. The F-1 engine to this day remains the most powerful single combustion chamber liquid propellant rocket engine ever built. Blue Origin intends to make the BE-4 commercially available to other companies besides the ULA. I think that's very interesting. Um, so manufacturing the engine for two rockets alone will make the price of the engine considerably cheaper because more of the engines will be produced. So I'm interested to see if other companies choose to incorporate the BE-4 on their rockets. So we'll see what happens in the future. Once complete, the BE-4 engine will be one of the most powerful rocket engines ever built, capable of generating 550,000 pounds forced of thrust. It will be considerably more powerful than SpaceX Raptor engine which is projected to generate around 380,000 pounds force of thrust. Blue Origin takes pride in the fact that the engine is fully funded by the private sector requiring no government funding. Being the engine of ULA's Vulcan rocket, the BE-4 engine will save the government $3 billion over 20 years in national security launch costs. So there you have it, the BE-4 will be an absolute beast of an engine and I think it will start earning Blue Origin some much needed revenue and I'm sure Bezos is happy about that not having to dip into his Amazon stock as much. I can't wait to see this engine complete and, I, and I'm looking forward to seeing Blue Origin's continued success but I want to hear from you. Do you think the BE-4 will be the engine of choice for other companies besides the ULA? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did please leave a like and if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.